Hi, welcome to the Spiritual Connection Show. I'm your host, Katie Augustine. So I'm a transformation coach. I'm an energy healer. I'm a shamanic practitioner. And I'm the spiritual head of the Transformation Center CT, which is located in Westport, Connecticut. So at the center, we do a variety of, we have workshops, we have trainings, sometimes we have retreats here. And during the pandemic, we've been doing most of our stuff online on Zoom. So once a month, we have satsang, which is Sanskrit for in the company of the truth. And that's an hour, it's usually the third or fourth Wednesday of each month. And it's an hour where we can just be together in the evening and just spend time talking about something interesting and spiritual, of course. And we have a beautiful guide of visualization that Radha, Kathy French does for us. So I know you'll enjoy that. We also have chanting and that's led by Nalini of Nalini Shamanic Divination. So I really um, encourage you to check it out on our website. I'll put up the, um, the link in a second so you can see the address. And the other thing we do every month is a shamanic clinic. And this is also organized by Nalini. And it's an opportunity for you to find out more about shamanism. If you're curious about it and you wanna get an extraction healing, you can sign up for a half hour slot. And that's always the second Tuesday of each month between 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. So I'm gonna put up our contact info and you can check that out and just go on the website and you know either call or email and see, see what's available. So this is our um, website address, transformationcenterct.com. You can email transformationcenterct at gmail or call us at that number. There's lots of ways to get in touch, see what we're up to. We also have individual healings. Um, we're doing them in person and online and over the phone. Anyway, remotely, we, it all works um, with energy healing and also coaching. There's lots of um, methods available for that. So just know that it's available, whatever, whatever you need and all are welcome. All right, well, thanks for tuning into the Spiritual Connection Show. Um, you know, it's all about connection and connecting with each other. Um, you're going to be able to meet my guest um, this evening and find out what, what's in store for you, you know, what, what she has to offer for you, and connect more fully with your own spiritual self. So I'm very excited tonight, and this is for our second time for Greer Jonas to be my guest. Welcome to the show, Greer. Thank you so much. It's so great to be here again. Yeah, I'm excited. There's so much to talk about. This we may, to, we may have to do a third episode, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm just going to read a little bit about you for our audience because they okay, don't really, Thank you. really know you. So Greer Jonas is an intuitive master numerologist with over 25 years of experience. And she conducts online personal or and or compatibility readings as well as business name readings. She's also a teacher and an artist. So you can check out her art. I'm gonna show her website in just a minute. Well, actually, I'll put it up now so you can see how to contact Greer. So this is her website, numerologyforyoursoul.com. And then her art website is underneath there at the bottom. That's greerjonas.com. And you can schedule a reading or check out the class schedule. Um, and also what Greer has offered um, for this special for, for being on the show today is if you'll send her an email at that address, greerdjonas at gmail.com, she will send you information so you can have your own personal year reading. It's like a little flyer that it's the, for your personal year 2021 and what it means to you specifically. So that would be a really um, cool way to get started. So that's very generous of you, Greer. Okay, so without further ado, um, I think we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, do you wanna tell us just a little teeny bit about your background before we get started for those who didn't see the episode one, how you got started in numerology? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I've always been really fascinated with numbers and um, like when I was really young, and then when I was around in my 20s, I took this numerology class 
and I started seeing, um, I started doing everybody's chart because numbers are um, an energy, a vibration. And you can see through your name and through your birthday that um, each number has a specific um, design, you know, and like one is all about leadership, new beginnings. And I started doing everyone's chart. I was fascinated um, with my own chart and then my family's chart. And then the next thing I know, people started asking me, hey, you know what? I want, um, I want to give my, my child a really good name. Um, does numerology help? And yes, it does. So, um, you know, then I, people started asking me, you know, they wanted to change their name. They were actors. Uh, they wanted to change their name. And it just, it just started like that. And then I, you know, people started paying me. <laughs> wow. So I, you know, since this is the time of the new, um, the new president, um, I wanted to talk about um, the whole presidential succession, okay? And 21 adds up to a five, okay? Five, five is energy, five is um, flamboyant energy and change. So what's happened is after the pandemic, which we were in a four year, which was slower and more into the home, um, five helps us be out there more. So, and thus we have a new president and um, vaccines are coming in and we have, we can, we have the opportunity to work with our energy to, to start making changes in our lives. Okay, so that's the five. Okay, right. now what I'm gonna talk about, I wanna share my screen here. Okay, so we talked about the five, okay. Now, this is a very interesting phenomenon. So here's the 44th, 45th, 46th, that's the succession of the presidency, okay. And I have come up with an idea, okay, that um, this is a, a vision that maybe these three people came in for this reason to have this energy and the energy, the world is also in there, you know? So, um, so let's look at 44. So Obama was the 44th president. Now, when two numbers are the same, they are called master numbers because it's the power of both numbers. So four is, 44 is the master builder, okay? Um, and the eight, which it adds up to, is the charismatic leader. So having a 44 eight is the builder and the manifester in a very profound way. And Obama certainly, was the first black president. He, he shifted things. He started making things happen, you know, new healthcare, lots of, lots of energy in the new, you know, and, um, and people loved him, you know, people felt his energy and wanted to connect with him, you know, and he was very much into working, working with entertainers, Aretha Franklin, you know, he, singing, you know, he um, was very gregarious. So that's the power of the 44. And, um, and in our United States, it, and all over the world, he was very well respected and helped us build in a new way and make change in our lives. Okay, so then we have 45, 45, which adds to a nine, and that's Trump. Now, President Trump is an enigma, in my opinion. Okay, so it adds to a nine. Now, the nine is all about transformation. 
The nine is all about change and completion and seeing the bigger picture, seeing what it's all about in the bigger picture, okay? So why did he come in at this time? Um, and we're talking in a very universal way. Why? Well, he really shook up the world, yeah? And the nine in it, what we call the shadow, the shadow is the lesson um, of each number. So the shadow of the nine is instead of seeing the bigger picture of things, instead of seeing transformation, I mean, nine is like Gandhi, okay? Seeing the bigger picture and letting go of ego, the nine can make changes in the world like Gandhi did without his ego. He worked with, you know, connecting and transformation of his country, okay? Now, Trump is still all about transformation and boy, <laughs> in so many ways, you know, he really shifted and, you know, in, in my viewpoint, he, he, um, he made everyone really confused and scared, but it still was transformation. And maybe, maybe we were supposed to have this at this time for us to shift and look at what is in my life as compared to your life, as compared to the world. And I think that he came here for that reason, you know? And what happened is that he was more into his ego than into um, shifting the world. It was more important for him to be in his ego so there's the shadow, you know, the shadow of, of connecting to self before country, okay? Then, but we had to have this, we had a pandemic, we had to have this to shake things up, really shake things up, you know? Now, then we move to 46, President Biden, okay? So 46, and 46 is, adds to a one. And the one is new beginnings. The one is leadership. The one is taking a new path and being inspired, okay? And, uh, and don't you think this is following succession, Katie? Can you see that? Yeah, it does kind of follow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, it's very interesting. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at Joe Biden. Okay, 46th president. Now, what we do here is we're going to look at the destiny. What is your life purpose in this world? Okay. And the way to find out your destiny is to add the birth number to, of the month to the birth number of the day to the year, okay? And you do it like this. It's really important to do it like this and don't reduce it um, because you might have a master number. So you add one plus one plus two plus one plus nine plus four plus two adds to a 20, which reduces to a two. Now the two is, um, with President Biden, I just wanna just stop this share so I can. So President Biden with a two, a two destiny, the two is the quiet, um, the quiet person who works one-on-one -on -one with people, who works with compassion, who works with, um, you know, more than his ego. The two is the yin. The two is compassion, connection, but in a very, very quiet way as compared, compared to Trump, 
who was very much into ego and very loud. You know, Biden is very soft-spoken. And in a lot of ways, people felt like, is he going to be proactive enough? You know, but the, the two is the diplomat. The two is let me let me take in all the all the people I need to to have support. You know, let me take that in, not from the ego. What does the country need to get better? <laughs> You know, and and the two is just not about ego, you know. Very, so, very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting, right? Yeah. Um, so let me go back to. So now, let's look at Vice President Kamala Harris. Okay, now I talked about the five in our 2021. Okay, the five is all about charisma. It's all about energy. It's all about um, uh, change and excitement and, you know, being out on stage, being the actor, the entertainer, being out on stage. Now, don't you think Pre Vice President Harris describes that? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, seems like her personality. Yeah. But it's totally her personality. You can't stop looking at her. Okay, now let's take a look at this. They work together in a lot of ways because the five brings everyone together in, in um, with the energy, gets like kind of the fire started. And the two is going to be the arbitrator. So um, they really combine with each other very nicely as long as they don't conflict. Because Kamala is, this is going to be a struggle for her. She's not going to want to be behind the scenes. You know, she's going to want to be out there. I want to just start to share. She's going to want to be out there and energetic and you know, you could sort of see it when she's standing behind him, you know, mm -hmm. it's like she's holding, he's she's, hold, she's sitting on her hands practically, you know, but you still see the sparkle in her eyes. But I can guarantee that she will not be sitting behind the stands. I can guarantee that she's going to take a lot of action in our world. It's not going to be like Pence. It's not going to be like Biden was with Obama. They're not, she's not going to sit back. She's not. Mm -hmm. She's going to be active and proactive. Wow, that's so, be interesting to see how, yeah. how it plays out. Uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely can see them working together. That's, mm -hmm. you know, it does make sense. And I, I can see it too. Hopefully yeah. they'll find a way to make it work where they balance each other. Exactly, so, exactly. It's really interesting, Greer. It just, it just shows an example of how you can really put this, this um, numerology to use and to mm -hmm. work. Yeah, well, yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. this. And, we have like- So much to cover. I can't believe the time went by so long. I know. Well, we have like- <laughs> Two seconds left. I'll put up your slide again. So if anybody wants to contact you through your website or I can email you for their own personal year chart, that's the way to go. So great. All right. Well, thanks again. And Thank you know, you. we'll be in touch. Maybe we'll do another one. This was so much we'll fun. We'll see. Yeah. Right. We'll see. All right. Take care. Okay. Namaste, my friend.